Volteco is an Italian company developing innovative products and solutions in waterproofing since 40 years and offering specialized support for the engineering and the application of its technologies. Volteco proposes an extremely specialized portfolio of waterproofing solutions, which includes self-repairing hydroreactive membranes, flexible coatings resisting to negative hydrostatic pressure, waterproof mortars, hydroswelling mastics, water stops, gasket profiles, and sealing tapes. Venice, with its unique building environment, is a special laboratory where building structures are subject to severe stresses that impact their resistance in the long term, such as rising damp, seafront aerosol, and most of all, high tides. For such reason, Venice has always represented the ideal field where to apply and develop waterproofing systems and verify their effectiveness in the long term. Venice lies in the center of a wide lagoon facing the Adriatic Sea, at just two meters above the sea level. Here, several islands are connected through a dense network of canals dug in the shallows. After being a fisherman village in Roman ages, a first urban center was established in this hospitable marsh by mainland people escaping from invasions. In the Middle Ages, thanks to trades, Venice became the connection center between the East and the West, thus becoming the flourishing city that we admire nowadays. But how was Venice built? Which materials were used to adapt to this challenging environment? The foundation of the buildings lay on top of wooden piles, reinforced and petrified by salty mud. In this way was created a fragile balance between clay as a waterproof material, a double layer of wood as foundation bed for vertical structures, and, for the sunk structures, natural stones from Istria, giving its resistance to salts, to different thermal cycles and to rising damp. Venice means dealing with structures which foundations are permanently submerged in water and this permanent contact with salty water causes strong rising damp. This phenomenon, considering the tough conditions, in the long term brings to salt crystallization and the related detachment of plaster, structural damages, moisture and unhealthy environments. In addition, we should consider the continuous stress on facades given by the presence of typical sea aerosol. Renovation techniques against rising damp, both from internal and external environments, require the application of specific plasters, working as combined drainage pumps, removing humidity from masonry and expelling it out to the open air. A specialistic job can be carried out using specific lime-based mortars compatible with old stones. In Venice, countless locations have been freed from moisture using, in addition, chemical injection to stop permanently the rising dam without compromising old building fragile structures. But when you mention Venice, everybody thinks of the famous unique phenomenon of rising tides that submerge most of the city area. These events always existed in the history of the city as natural consequence of ingress of sea in the lagoon in connection with moon phases and increased by winds. Due to the progressive sinking of the city, in addition to some industrial activities and recent climate changes, in the last decades this natural event has increased both for frequency and intensity. The recent climate changes, the fluids and progressive sea level increase, have dramatically shown how Venice can be considered a living laboratory where this battle is fought every day. At the same time, bigger cities placed a few meters above the sea level, like Amsterdam, St. Petersburg, Los Angeles, New Orleans, London, Shanghai, New York, could face similar problems in the near future. 
Working in this specific environment requires the presence of specialized professionals, namely experienced designers and skilled waterproofing applicators, able both to understand the potential risk and to identify the right solution to be implemented in the project. When facing an underground environment subject to water infiltration, or with presence of permanent groundwater, the first step is to assess if the structure can resist to hydrostatic pressure and if the substrate is suitable for the installation of a waterproofing system. The following step is to design the waterproofing inside and together with the existing structure to create an internal remedial tanking system, or as we call it, a relining. Several different types of internal tanking solutions can be designed depending on the specific situation and on the needs of the renovation project. A customized method statement is then developed for the correct implementation of appropriate technologies. Here, the technical drawing and the related application picture show an example of relining in the case the existing structure is weak or if the substrate is unsuitable. A pre-applied membrane is installed in horizontal vertical continuity to fully bond to the new concrete structure, thus creating a watertight tank. A safety factor is always taken into consideration in the specification of the waterproofing level, as the requirements may change during the lifespan of the building. Another option is the so-called mixed system internal tanking, which is preferable in the case of differentiated structures and where the available space is limited. In this case, the solution foresees the application of a reinforced waterproof plaster on the masonry wall, completed with a liquid applied elastic coating to ensure crack bridging. The bottom is waterproof instead with a pre-applied hydroreactive membrane, on top of which a new concrete slab is poured. The different parts of the system are sealed together with pre-applied hydroswellable bars and tapes resisting to negative water pressure. A more complex situation is the so-called floating tanking, achieved without connection to the existing building. The new slab indeed floats without transmitting the buoyancy load to unsuitable old masonry structures. In this example, the renovation project also foresees the protection of the building from rising damp by using hydrophobic injection that impede capillary rise and microporous plaster to dry the walls both from outside and inside. The same plaster on top of the vertical waterproofing avoids condensation on cold surfaces. According to specific design requirements, it is sometimes necessary to keep as low as possible the thickness of the new superstructures, for example, in case of low ceilings. A new generation of high-resistant mortars reinforced with steel fibers allows to create a thin but appropriate counterstructures or substrates that perfectly cooperate with the waterproofing system. A common case in modern construction is to operate on existing rough foundations that are permeable but anyway able to resist to the pressure of the water table. The tanking, in this case, is accomplished through a combination of waterproof plaster and or flexible coatings, in combination with special waterproofing tapes able to seal against negative water pressure. The complexities connected with the recovery of underground environments further enhance the characteristics of our satellite waterproofing system. In particular, the possibility of drilling the self-sealing membrane allows to connect the new structures with the existing ones, with significant advantages in terms of dimensions and costs. Versatility turns out to be a great advantage also when it's necessary to work by subsequent phases. Look into the example of a retrofit tanking with existing partition walls, it is possible to keep the continuity of the membrane by connecting different pieces of the installation without losing effectiveness. 
As mentioned, most of the times a complete and continuous waterproofing system requires an integrated solution composed of several different elements. The logic is to use the most suitable technology depending on the construction type and scope. Membranes, plaster, coatings, joint tapes and sealants are all tools of a customized design that makes the difference in the result. We must never forget that a capillary is enough for water. Details indeed are extremely important. In Venice, for example, catch basins for sewage, rainwater drainage and other are most of the times inside the building, so it is often required to create dedicated spaces in the rough foundations. A very flexible membrane and an adaptable sealing kit provide a great advantage on traditional systems when dealing with reduced space, particular shapes and various substrates. Another challenge faced when waterproofing old structures in Venice is the limited space available with regards to doors and windows, which span cannot be narrowed. The problem is solved with tailor-made steel plates as an alternative or for the completion of thick-applied waterproof renders. Here, special attention must be paid to design the continuity of the waterproofing in the contact area between different materials and substrates. In example, masonry, mortars, steel plates, steel connectors, etc. A typical problem found in these job sites is also the presence of several passing bodies, such as pipes and cables, or sometimes consolidation piles. All these can be sealed effectively and safely without affecting the performance of the system. Thinking to Venetian buildings, the main water ingress in case of high tide is clearly the entrance doors at the ground floor. Removable modular bulkheads do the job of keeping out most of the water, but their steel frames must be connected to the waterproofing system with specific seals to avoid bypassing. Another normal circumstance in renovation is the need to maintain the existing partition walls and to protect them as well giving continuity to the pre-applied membrane. It is possible in this case to foresee the use of disposable jacks sunk and safely sealed in the new structure. Once the waterproofing works are completed and considering the tough humidity condition usually found in underground environments, the final step is to apply anti-condensation solution to give to the renovated space a healthy environment and a hygrometric balance. In the last 40 years, several prestigious buildings have been waterproof and renovated using the technologies combined into customized solutions for an extremely wide variety of buildings and requirements, not only in this unique World Heritage Site. Moreover, the design and development of the technologies for this below-grade field require a specific and continuous monitoring of the long-term durability of the implemented solutions, verifying their behavior when permanently exposed to seawater, sea aerosol, considerable humidity in all seasons, temporary fluids rising down without mentioning the daily impact of human activities. Tailor-made solutions, skilled professionals, decades of successful experiences in the field. This winning combination enables to protect buildings from water in Venice, giving them a new life. A long path of challenges where only the most advanced technologies and know-how can secure buildings and structures for the next generations.